your energy forecast for Thursday, June 27th. Okay, so we have the moon in Pisces again here all day, which means that we're all up in our feels. We are kind of removed in a certain sense from our reality, but yet we are also very connected to the emotional processing that is needed while we observe and kind of, you know, re-examine some of the tougher love life lessons that we've been going through. The Pisces energy is attempting to wrap things up in order for us to start fresh, start new when the moon moves into Aries energy. And so there's a lot of healing energy there. There's a lot of creativity popping in. There's a lot of imagination coming to us in order to come up with some creative solutions to some of the problems that, of course, we've been banging our head against a wall about. There are eight different aspects taking place here today. All eight involve the moon, which means that we're in for another moon day, a day where we get to, again, feel what it is that we have to heal move into our emotional realm, try to make sense of some of the chapters, the karmic lessons in which we just walked through that we're trying to wrap up, close the door upon in order for us to start fresh. The moon in Pisces energy going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is in Taurus energy, a slow, steady pace of building up the ideas, the inspiration, the self-worth, the self-confidence needed about ourselves in order to actually pivot and pursue a brand new path. Now, we love Taurus energy and Pisces energy working together because Pisces energy allows us to kind of gain a visual on new hopes, new wishes, new dreams. We're able to actually bring that visual to life in some kind of form through the Taurus energy. So right now, this is kind of like us moving into La La Land. We're gaining a visual on what it is that we want to do, what we want to pursue, what we want to build, what we want to create. And we're building, cultivating that fire, that spark, that flame within us in order to actually have the energy to sustain these bumps be obstacles that of course we are facing while trying to pivot away from what it is that we have been doing and try to pivot and gain closer proximity to new goals, new visions, new dreams. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener, also in Taurus energy. So this is going to illuminate us to different perspectives, especially while reviewing some of the tough love life lessons that we've just gone through. Again, the moon in Pisces attempting to wrap up the karmic cycle due to the emotional processing, the refinement needed in order for us to gain a different perspective. We're plucking out the lessons. We're plucking out the silver linings. We have a new level of awareness. We have a new level of perspective, especially with what needs to change in our physical realm, where routines, relationships are concerned, where money matters are concerned. This is the aha moment on realizing what in our physical realms, literally speaking, needs to come to an end, needs to be removed, needs to be purged in order to free up the path for us to actually start walking in a new path in a new direction. The moon is then going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. This isn't going to feel good, and it's not supposed to. We are going to sit in our fears, in our doubts, in our insecurities, just when we gain a visual on what it is that we want to start building towards, what we want to do, what we want to create, we start kind of second-guessing ourselves. We're questioning whether or not we have what it takes in order to sustain this transitional period where there are challenges and obstacles coming at us left, right, and center, whether or not we have what it takes to actually make it through. Again, just when we're feeling good, those dark force energies come through the egoic programming in order to keep us in a state of paralysis. Now, Pluto does intensify things. However, we are going to need to feel that intense fear, that intense doubt, that intense insecurity in order for us to break our ourselves down to build ourselves up in a much stronger way. Pluto does offer us an empowerment energy, but we only reach that empowerment energy by kind of wading through the darkness, wading through the mud, wading through those fears in order to realize where it is that we are closing a chapter, where we are building ourselves up to a new place of identity, new place of strength, new place of empowerment in order for us to, again, 
begin this new chapter, walking in a new path, walking in a new direction. The moon in Pisces is going to come up to bump into team up with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, rolling over roles, responsibility, system structures, foundations, willpower and discipline. And in this Pisces energy, Saturn, of course, is trying to bring an ending to a 30 year cycle, 30 year chapter. And in our own individual lives, we are seeing the deconstruction, the collapse, if you will, of the old realm, the old reality, the old version of self, the old ways of doing things, the old ways of believing in ourselves. And so this is going to bring a pretty somber tone to the mix here. We're not going to dip very far in the negative Nancy narrative. However, there is a serious tone that is going to take over. It's going to put us in a better mind frame to deal with some of the situations that require us to keep a level head. This is emotional detachment, if you will, even though the Pisces energy is overwhelmingly pushing us into the fields, Saturn brings a little bit of a reality check. He brings a, let's call it stoic face to the realm of emotion where we're able to see things clearly, logically, practically, and we're not emotionally reactive. The moon is then going to trine beautiful interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. Mercury is in cancer energy. So this is water on water action. This is very healing, very cleansing, very transformative. Our heart space, the moon, our head space, Mercury, they're on the same page. They're working together to unpack the past. And as we are kind of, you know, cycling through old memories, old flashbacks, old perspectives, old feelings, we are building ourselves up in a much safer, much secure kind of way, especially in our thoughts and in our emotional realm. This is also a great interaction for us to kind of have a little bit of a heart to heart with other people if need be. We are speaking from the heart. We are speaking from a place of observation on recognizing that certain things had to happen, not only to provide an ending and a closure to a certain chapter, but to also illuminate a new strength within us. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. So this is us seeing ourselves from a new set of eyes, seeing the strength that we're able to stand in, seeing the bravery, the courage that has been required of us as of late. This is the new version of self, again, gaining more power, more control, more ability to kind of lead us into this new chapter, operating from the higher self versus the old traumatic, pained up, bruised up version of the ego self. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy. This particular energy, because Pisces energy and Gemini energy are mutable signs, our emotions are changing. Our perspective is changing. Our mood and our attitude is changing for the better. There's a new level of confidence, a new level of optimism, a new level of excitement for the options and the opportunities that now lay before us. We're thinking about the future. We're thinking about the growing pains that we're currently going through. We're thinking about the new alternative of the lifestyle that we wish we could be living right now, but unfortunately we can't fast forward through this transitional period. This nonetheless is giving us a bigger vision of the goal of the dream that we're now excited and inspired to pursue. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Pisces energy, sextiling beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in that Taurus energy. So this is like an aha moment, an epiphany, a light bulb moment where this new mood, this new attitude coming in from Jupiter is pushing us away from being too focused on the past. And instead now we're kind of pivoting and we're preparing to really start focusing on the moves, on the actions needed in order for us to progress forward. This is a, I'm going to say an epiphany of where it is that we are kind of in a certain mood of acceptance, where we are kind of looking at life for the way that it actually is, not for the way that we wished it would be. And because of that, we are kind of done, if you will, with this emotional processing of events from the past. And we are very much in our present moment and now excited thinking about the future.